Mr. Ashwin Ladda, CEO, Orient Paper, visited Kana Shantivanam in November 2022. Orient Paper is a major paper producer in India and is known for its integrity and excellence, which are the guiding principles of its owner, the CK Birla Group. Mr. Ladda participated in meditation and also met Heartfulness Guide, Daji. Here are some excerpts from an interaction with him during his visit. So, uh, maybe we could talk about your journey with heartfulness and the meditation. What for you have been the greatest takeaways from this meditation practice? Uh, as we were discussing earlier, I used to practice Vipassana and uh, my mother uh, introduced me to Vipassana and then she uh, started following heartfulness and she was uh, kind of... Uh, putting a lot of uh, pressure also to, you know, <laughs> just explore, not to, I mean, nothing else but to explore. So during this uh, uh, lockdown, COVID, um, I said, uh, why not explore? There's no harm. And uh, that's when I first, uh, you know, I, intellectually, I satisfied my queries, uh, reading through it, uh, going through all the YouTubes uh, on heartfulness. And then... Uh, what I realized was, see, there are many ways uh, for people to start their inner journey. Right? And, and all the ways, all the paths are good. Uh, but this, I thought, was very practical, very subtle. Uh, there's uh, not too much of do's and don'ts. It's, it's basically uh, a very easy and fast track way to start your inner journey, to start feeling... Uh, you know, the realities and uh, embark uh, on self-exploration. So I thought this is uh, very practical. And that's the reason we started encouraging uh, people at our operations, at our, you know, uh, community at large, not only our workers, uh, staff, uh, their colony, uh, family members, but also the villages around our, uh, you know, our manufacturing setup in our office in Calcutta to at least let people be aware that this is a possibility. The rest is up to them. So, absolutely yeah absolutely and what has the response been amongst your workforce and on the people the community you are interacting with it must be a very large community that you interact with um you know it has been actually overwhelming because we had uh, so far more than 2500 souls have started their inner journey and uh, the kind of response and uh, real impact we are seeing in people, real stories uh, from our own colleagues. Um, I can see the difference. I mean, we started this a uh, few months back and I can really see people were really stressed out at times. People had some addictions. So they are coming forward and saying that uh, I have quit smoking or I have quit, uh, you know, drinking and I am having a new purpose in life. So this is very uh, you know, uh, satisfying to know that, uh, you know, uh, that they have found uh, their own inner purpose and they are, you know, uh, exploring that journey. Uh, so with that uh, experience, we are now uh, going to launch a massive outreach program uh, covering close to 1,000, 1,089 villages uh, over a period of time, which will help us, uh, uh, you know, uh, enlighten close to 450,000 lives uh, around our, uh, our factory in Amlai. So our, our you know, uh, bigger purpose is, and our passion is, you know, after, say, two or three years, if you come uh, in that 100-kilometer vicinity of our factory, you should start, start feeling prosperity, happiness, a general joy and purposeful living uh, across the age group, from kids to senior citizens there. Uh, and that is what uh, gives us the kick, you know. I mean, uh, uh, if we are able to move these people from point A to point B in, in a short period of time, and then it's self-sustaining, you know. So we have at least had a positive impact uh, in the society in which we operate in. Absolutely. I mean, that's really heartening to hear because, you know, we often call centers like Kana Shantyonam centers of light, but you are on an endeavor making a factory a center of light. That is that is really a beautiful effort. And a lot of us uh, often think that it's very urban phenomenon, this meditation and things like that. But you mentioned you are taking it even to rural areas, even to uh, areas around your factory, and uh, you are seeing a response there. Do you see a general... Yeah, I mean, uh, see, stress is not a metro city issue. 
uh, stress is something where you're you know i mean people in general if you go against the direction of wind against the nature and the lifestyles i mean the penetration of social media and bombarding uh, information you know uh, from every side so and of course uh, people who are uh, economically challenged so there are many kinds of stress so i would not underestimate anyone's challenge uh, people go through those challenges and uh, if we can uh, you know help people realize that there is uh, there is a path where you can walk and also by doing so you can be more balanced in what you do uh, you know it, it will be very uh, very good for them so uh, and we are seeing encouraging response uh, you know maybe i can share some pictures where you you see people sitting in in the village uh, panchayat office or someone's house somewhere in the night where there's no electricity uh, somewhere in 40 degree celsius uh, under a tin sheet uh, you know set up people are sitting and just uh, meditating so that is something which uh, it's so uh, fulfilling to see that right and that people are curious people are curious to explore and uh, you know heartfulness i'm very thankful for the heartfulness foundation they have uh, sent organized lot of selfless volunteers to camp there and uh, you know work with us and our team to go to these villages uh, because it's not that you know it's uh, that everything is like a schedule you come you go and you do the meditation no you know you have to flow with the local dynamics and you know that patience uh, is required so i'm very thankful for what has been achieved uh, with the support of heartfulness absolutely it's very um, things change things so one has to be flexible and deal with the situation amongst your own uh, community of business leaders and uh, people you interact with do you find there is a growing acceptance of stress management uh, techniques like meditation yeah i mean that debate has been going on for long and a uh, lot of people have their own ways and means to uh, tackle stress uh, in fact yesterday we were discussing with daji and we were talking about the 17 sdgs and he said that there is a need for 18th sdg and which is uh, a balanced mind a controlled mind because if you have that you will be able to better handle the rest of the 17 priorities so i think uh, you know this is uh, uh, there's no plan b you just have to do it and if you don't do it you have a, a ripple effect so and if you do it you still have a ripple effect so it's the positive ripple effect or the negative ripple effect uh, so uh, i think uh, as we move forward there are more and more people who are going to explore different possibilities and this is one of them so i would encourage anyone uh, who wants to you know uh, start this journey why not uh, give it a try and uh, lastly i'd like to ask you about kanha shanti vanam what has your experience of this campus been i mean uh, it's magical it's actually uh, incredibly executed the whole it's just 5 years in 5 years what has been set up here uh, it is beyond uh, one can comprehend that it's possible to do this right you have a rainforest uh, and i was there yesterday uh, where uh, it's unbelievable to see those uh, you have some uh, herbs some uh, trees which are otherwise not found outside say amazon or some very very um, you know some species where it's virtually getting extinct and all in one area and which are used to otherwise grow in very different climatic conditions right so all this is i think uh, it's magic <laughs> of course there's a lot of science and planning uh, and seamless execution which has been done uh, but also a clear mind uh you know committed uh, approach by the entire team under the leadership of daji uh, it's unbelievable and i think all of us uh, uh, are grateful to have such an institution in india because it's open for everyone uh, it's it's only giving there's nothing which they wanted back so i mean uh, i'm sure as we move forward lots more a uh, lot of people from india overseas they will come and benefit from this institution it's an incredible institution and uh, i only hope that there are more such kanas uh, across the country 
Thank you so much for Thank sitting you. down with us, Ashwin ji. Thank It's you. been really wonderful. And do come back soon to Kanha Shanti Vanam. It'll be lovely to host you again. Thank you. My pleasure. And I would also like you to welcome uh, at our place in Amlai, where a lot of good work is happening. So please come. Wonderful. Over. Wonderful. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. Uh, We will take you experience. up on it. We'll come. <laughs> we'll come. Thank yeah. you so Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Namaskar.